Hi guys, today I will be showing you some of my custom, custom warrior cats. I have been working on them over the span of a few years. I actually got into the series when the first book came out in 2003, I do believe. So I'm just going to be showing you the types of things that I use to make them and how durable they are and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Now, some of these aren't finished, and I'll get to them. But for now, I'm going to try to show you all some of my finished ones here. At least, I hope they're finished. This one is White Storm. As you can see, I used him from an LPS model. Now, as you can see right there, I need to fix that eye. But I added the tuft to his ears using enamel. Basically, if you take enamel and you brush it on your figures and you just kind of do a little splotchy job, it will come out looking like spiked fur, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, he's got a mark right there. I got to tell you, white paint is the hardest paint to use because it doesn't always cover up all the flaws it needs to cover. Now, I try not to use any clay when making my figures. I only use clay if I want to add hair and whatnot because the problem with clay is clay breaks. And I know this because I tried making my own Warrior Cat customs using clay. I hated it. Every time I used the clay, it would break. So I had to ditch the clay and just go for the LPS figures. And like I said, I only use clay if I'm trying to make hair and whatnot. So I did his eyes. I hope the camera zooms in. And like I said, they're not completely done. I still have a little spots to fill. So just to show off the durability, this is my porcelain wood tile. As you can see, he's totally fine. I apologize, that was dog hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> sorry guys, I have two dogs and <laughs> there's hair on the floor. I'm sorry, there it is. Go away, go away here. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, like as you can see, there's some markings on him that I need to repaint, but otherwise, you know, he didn't hurt himself. The enamel didn't hurt itself. And now this right here is water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in the water. Just to give y'all kind of an idea of how durable these figures are. Come on, White Storm. Swim, buddy, swim. As you can see, the water's just dripping off. It's not sticking to the paint. It's not doing anything I don't want it to do. Because I use top coat nail polish. And top coat nail polish is great. Because it holds the colors. Doesn't get sticky. Like the varnish does. And you can drop them in the water. The nail polish also makes the paint nice and hard, so it's durable. There he is. Happy little white storm. Now, this one's not completely finished, but this one is little white storm. So, as you can see, he's not completely done. He's got a crack right there I gotta fix. His head's painted, but not nail polished in. And his eyes are a little messed up. So as you can see, I've still got some work to do on him. But do we all know who White Storm's dad is? That's right, the infamous Thistleclaw. Now, Thistleclaw was made from an LPS model, just like the rest. Again, I did his eyes. Now, the thing about Thistleclaw is as y'all all know, he's got very spiky fur. That's where he got his name, Thistle. So I used enamel and made his fur nice and spiky. 
And one of my friends told me I made him too cute. Like, she was like, he's supposed to be a villain and you made him cute. But personally, I just don't think Thistle Claw was a villain. I mean, I know, I know he was kind of a hard head and, you know, made Tiger Star, uh, you know, Tiger Star attack Tiny and all that stuff. But to me, he showed that he loved Snowfur on more than one occasion even wishing it had been Blue Star that died on the Thunder Path and her. And I know that sounds wrong, but to me, it just shows how much he loved her. Let her name White Kid. Maybe one day I'll do a character analysis of him. So again. And again, he's fine. Oh, that's just white paint. Okay, so when I was painting his shoulders recently, I must have accidentally done a splotch of white paint right there. Ooh, and right there. So, gotta go over him with that. But again, um, I used enamel to make his fur spiky. So, again, to put it all in place, use nail polish top coat. And what that does is it keeps it all in place. So again, go for a st swim, Thistleclaw. Big brave cat. Remember, Thistleclaw, warriors are not afraid of water. Swim, buddy, swim. And as you can see, again, not eating away any of the paint, not ruining any of it. He is going to be a little hard to dry off, though, because he's got all those, you know, spikes. And again, nothing happened to the paint. So, who was Thistleclaw's sister-in-law? I just said it was Blue Star. Now, Blue Star is, again, LPS model. They all are. Now, the reason why I left this here is because I'm going to make a moonflower and put it in there for her mother. I'm going to go ahead and do some more paint over these holes because they need to be plugged up. Now, you could also use clay for the holes. It's not a problem. And I think I did an okay job on her eyes. I might go back over that one since it's a little lumpy. But otherwise, I went ahead and gave her her gray spots and a little gray tip tail. Now, we all know who her boyfriend was. It should have been Thrushfell, but Oakheart. Now, Oakheart, I just got done making some modifications to him, and as you can see, I'm still in the process of that. Let's see. I gotta fix all that. So, Oakheart. Oakheart was interesting because on the Warriors, I base most of these off the Warriors wiki, and on the Warriors wiki, it said he was a reddish-brown tom. So I used burgundy paint, since burgundy is kind of like a reddish-brown color, and it's really deep. Again, I did his eyes. And again, he can, he's easy. He can swim, he can get dropped, all that stuff. They all can, but I mean, I'm not going to show all of them, because that's kind of crazy, but we'll be here all day if I do that. So let's introduce their children. Misty Foot. Well, Misty Star now. Can you guys believe she's almost 13 years old? Cats aren't supposed to live that long in the wild. Now, you see these cracks right here? What happened was I used a different nail polish brand and I thought it was great. Well, unfortunately, it started cracking up my characters. So I'm probably going to have to make a new one of her or at the very least go back over it with some paint. Um, it's unfortunate though because I really like her. Again, maybe fix the eyes just a little bit. I gave her a Misty Foot because <laughs> I thought if her name's Misty Foot, she should have at least one Misty Foot. Again, did the eyes. Not completely perfect, but I try. And then one of my 
my favorite characters, Stormfur. No, Stonefur. <laughs> Sorry, Stonefur. Stonefur was Blue Star and Oak Star, uh, Oakheart's son. And he died a very heroic death. Now, I don't always, you know, trim their ears or whatever, but with him I had to because he's a hero. He needs his battle scars. And I read on Warrior's Wiki that he was the strongest out of the litter. And when Misty Star was getting her nine lives, he actually gave her one and she commented on how it wasn't nearly as painful as Grey Pool's. I think it's because he was just that cool. Now, I'm pretty proud of how his eyes turned out. I just got to fix that right there. Otherwise, he turned out pretty good. I like him. I don't have snow fur yet, but I'll be working on her in a bit. Now, Oakheart had a brother. And Oakheart's brother was Crooked Star. Now, Crooked Star 